In my last video about the top neighborhoods to live in Frederick, Maryland, I went over five of the best neighborhoods that you should consider moving to in Frederick. And in this video, I'm gonna add three more top neighborhoods to that list. So let's just jump right in. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Brady and I'm a realtor here in Maryland and I make videos like this every single week about the best places to live in Maryland and what you should know about the market before moving here. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you are considering moving here anytime in the near future, I've made it easier than ever to connect with me. Just go into the link in the description or in the caption below and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and I'll make sure to get you up with a plan to make your move go as smoothly as possible. So if you didn't watch my original top five list, I'll make sure to link it at the end of this video so that you can watch the top five as well. And in this video, I'm gonna go over those top three neighborhoods that I wanna to add to that list. And I'm gonna kick it off with the neighborhood of Ren Quarter. So the Ren Quarter neighborhood is located just to the east of downtown Frederick, right off of Monoxy Boulevard. And this is a very large development that is actually still being built. And it's being built by home builder DR Horton. And they started building and selling here in 2022. And they're anticipated to go well into 2024 with both townhouses and single family detached homes being sold here. And the cool thing about this community is they've done a lot of planning with the city to make it really great. And they've done that by connecting it to the Carroll Creek Linear Park, which is the main Riverwalk style park in downtown Frederick, which everyone likes to go to when they visit. And it's gonna connect there through a 70 acre green space. So there's gonna be trails from the Ren Quarter neighborhood all the way to downtown Frederick. And they have multiple styles of townhouses and single family detached homes being sold right now. Some of them are move-in ready and some of them are to be built. With the townhouses being priced right around $445,000 up to about $575,000 and the single family detached homes being priced in the mid to high 700s. And with this community being so new, just starting to sell homes in 2022, you're not gonna see many resale homes here in the coming years. So you're probably better off anyway buying new construction and that's because they're offering very attractive incentives right now for people that are moving into the new construction home. So you'd probably get a better deal on the new construction right now anyway. And one of the great things about living in Ren Quarter in this location is how quickly you can get to downtown Frederick. Yes, you could walk there on Carroll Creek Linear Park, but if you need to drive into downtown, you can just hop on East Patrick Street and be there in just a couple minutes. It's also right next to the Frederick Fairgrounds, which has the Great Frederick Fair every year and also tons of other events all throughout the year. And as far as amenities go for living in Ren Quarter, you're gonna have a pool, a clubhouse, the top lots like playgrounds, and plenty of walking trails and open spaces. But really, the majority of people that are moving here are moving here because of its proximity to downtown Frederick. And another thing that could make Ren Quarter rank even higher on this list is that there's a planned commercial retail development right next to it that's supposed to be tied into Ren Quarter itself with tons of shops and dining restaurants nearby. And if this does actually go through, this is going to be one of the best planned communities of all of Frederick and let alone Frederick County. And the next top neighborhood in Frederick is the neighborhood of East Church. And this community is located just next to Ren Quarter on the northern side of it, right on the other side of Carroll Creek and East Church Street. And this is also a newer community and it's almost complete. It's being completed by Wormold Builders and only has a few houses left at the time of making this video that will complete the entire development. And while Ren Quarter has a very contemporary style, this neighborhood has more Victorian style homes and you don't see those many places around Maryland in new construction communities. You also have a lot of French style homes, which Wormold is known for. So a lot of people like to move here and plan on moving here because of the styles of the homes. And the three new construction townhouses that are left in this community are closing out in the high sixes and low 700s. And at the time of this video, just like Ren Quarter, they're offering some pretty attractive incentives to get you to buy these homes. And unlike Ren Quarter, this is a more established community, which means it does have resale homes popping up on the market. And if you're looking for a townhouse here with the styles being so different from one another, they range from the low 400s to the mid 600s. And there are a couple dozen single family detached homes in East Church. And when they do come up on the market, they tend to sell in the mid 700s to the mid 800s. And again, with so few being in this community, you're not gonna see very many of them popping up on the market. And a nice thing about living in East Church is that it's on East Church Street, which if you take it into downtown Frederick, it takes you right into a cool area of town known as Shab Row. And Shab Row is very historic looking. It has a lot of great shops and dining and one of the best coffee shops in the entire city. And if you go to here during the holidays, it's probably one of the best lit places in the entire city. 
And the East Church neighborhood does have its own pool and clubhouse and playgrounds. But again, the majority of people are gonna to move to this location because it's so close to downtown and that's where most people want to be. And the next top neighborhood in Frederick is the neighborhood of Rosedale. And this is an established community in Frederick, unlike the other two, which are new construction communities. This neighborhood has been around for a very long time. It's located on the west side of Frederick and is very close to Route 15. And one of the biggest draws to this community is its proximity to Hood College. And if you've never heard of this college before, it's located right in downtown Frederick. And it has an enrollment of about 2,000 students. And it's a very historic campus. It's been around since the late 1800s. And if you live in the Rosedale community, you're probably going to go for walks on this campus. That's what a majority of the residents here do. So it's a big draw to living here. It's like having your own nice park to walk through, but you can go to the college. If you're a professor or a student, it's even better to live here. You can walk right onto campus from the Rosedale neighborhood. And the Rosedale neighborhood reminds me a lot of the Baker Park neighborhood, which I mentioned in my first top five video. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And the reason it reminds me of that neighborhood is because it still has a lot of that true Frederick charm. Unlike Ren Quarter and East Church, which are brand new, this really feels like downtown Frederick. And as you're walking down the sidewalks of Rosedale, you'll notice all of the mature trees lining the streets. You're also going to notice that a lot of the homes are the brick style Tudor homes and colonial homes. And another thing you're going to notice is that the residents here really take great care of their properties, which is a really good thing considering there's no HOA here, which is a bonus when you compare it to neighborhoods like Ren Quarter or East Church. And if you're looking for a home here, the price range can vary significantly because there are so many different types of homes. If you're looking for a small rancher that needs up updating in this community, you may be able to find it for the mid 400s. But if you're looking for the bigger Tudor or colonial style homes here, you could be paying well over a million dollars. And homes here really don't go up for sale that often. So if you do want to live here, you're going to have to watch this neighborhood like a hawk during your search. And when they do come up, you want to make sure you don't miss that opportunity. You want to jump on them right away because they sell very quickly. So those are the top three neighborhoods in Frederick to add to my top five list of neighborhoods in Frederick. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't already. I'll link it both in this video and in the description below. And if you live in Frederick or lived here before, make sure to add in the comments where you think are the best neighborhoods to live in Frederick. And if you are considering moving to Frederick or any of the surrounding areas, make sure to reach out to me. I would love to help you with your search. I made it easier than ever. Just go to that link in the description or in the comments and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. You can also just send me a text message, give me a call or send me an email, and I'd be happy to get you set up there as well. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date on all of my videos about moving to Maryland.